together, all three. One, two, three, together. This is the RMAC Showcase. Stayed away from the corner, he hits it. The Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference is the most historic collegiate organization in the Western United States. Founded in 1909, the RMAC is a proud member of NCAA Division II. Now, here's your host, Eric Danner. Welcome back to the RMAC Showcase, coming to you from the conference baseball tournament at Saplesio Field in Grand Junction. The RMAC Track and Field Championships were held at Rec Stadium in Alamosa. On the women's side, the Adams State women were ranked number two in the country and looking for their 11th straight RMAC title. Adams State's march to an 11th straight conference title was almost derailed by one person. Salcia Slack of New Mexico Highlands had a meet for the ages. Slack wins the heptathlon, scoring 5,833 points, not only a new conference record, but a new record in NCAA Division II. After winning that grueling event, the wins kept on coming as Slack wins the 100-meter hurdles, the triple jump, and the javelin. Slack was also fifth in the shot put and second in the long jump. That's 52 points, more than four teams by herself. Add freshman of the year Shanice McPherson's win in the long jump, Elizabeth Robertson's victory in the hammer throw, and a Cowgirls win in the 4x100 relay, and Highlands gets 170 team points. That's more team points than any team not named Adam State in the past five years. But there is a team named Adam State in this meet, and they have their own superstars. Kayon Robinson sets new RMAC records in the 200, winning in a time of 23-3-7, and in the 400, where her time in the prelims was nearly a second and a half better than her record time set two years ago. She also runs the anchor leg of the winning 4x400 relay. This is my last year, and I wanted to go out really good, so it was pretty much what my coach trained me for. In the 100, Sunaina Wahi ekes out a win over Highlands McPherson, Shante Roberts is the champ of a star-studded field in the 800. Freshman Jenna Thurman, running in the first heat, runs more than 12 seconds faster than anyone in the second heat in the 1500. Freshman Mara O'Brien earns 10 points in the 5K, an event the Grizzlies had five in the top six. Another freshman, Jessica Shearer, sets a new stadium record in the 400 hurdles, running in just over a minute. The illustrious RMAC career of Alicia Nelson comes to a close with a dominating win in the steeple. Three of the top four finishers were from ASU. In the end, Adam State prevails with 192 team points, their 11th straight RMAC championship. I mean, they're all they're all different. We have so many different people every time, and it's just it's just special every time. So you learn to appreciate them. Shadron State was third with wins in the pole vault and discus. Western State is fourth as Callie Antolini wins the 10K, and Barbara Zabo and Susan Jackson set new records in the high jump. Colorado Mesa is fifth, CSU Pueblo number six, Black Hill State seven as the Yellow Jackets win gold in the shot put thanks to sophomore Madison McLaughlin. The RMAC Golf Championships were held in Phoenix this year. On the men's side, Western New Mexico ranked number seven in the country, and the Mustangs were the team to beat. On a hot day in Phoenix, when even birdies look for the shade, check out the long putt by Luke Condon of Adams State. Very nice. He ties for 14th as the Grizzlies finish fifth. The team to beat was Western New Mexico. The Mustangs were led by David Metz, who fires a second round 67. He finishes the tournament two under par to win the top spot. It's my last RMAC. It's, uh, it's, it's sad, but it's, it's exciting as well. So I was very happy to play like I did this week. Callum Hill, a sophomore from Scotland, and Harry Wetton, a freshman from England, were both six shots back in a tie for sixth as Western New Mexico captures the team title, their second since joining the RMAC in 2006. They're remarkable in that uh, they're all exceptional players, but you could just see them come along, and they're very young. So uh, it means that this is a start of, uh, of an exceptional situation for, for Western New Mexico golf. CSU Pueblo was second. Freshman Jacob Allenback shoots a tournament best 67 in round one. He ties for second overall. UCCS was third as the Mountain Lions had two golfers in the top 10, including Stephen Cook. Mesa takes fourth. Colin Prater ties for second. He would advance to the Super Regional Tournament as an individual. Western New Mexico, Colorado Mines, CSU Pueblo, Colorado Christian, and UCCS would all qualify for the Super Regional in Austin, Texas. The Mustangs finish fifth and earn a spot in the NCAA 2 National Championships in Allendale, Michigan. We'll have more on that in the next RMAC Showcase. On the women's side, CSU Pueblo captures their second RMAC title in the last three years. 
Julie Sanchez leads the way, shooting eight over par in the two-day tournament. She is the co-champion. Coming into this tournament, I was kind of worried because I wasn't hitting my irons very good. But then today, after I knew where I was sitting yesterday, I thought I had a chance that I wanted to win. And this morning, I really wanted it. The T-Wolves win by 15 strokes as Lena Kim ties for third and Dami Danalo tied for eighth. Well, Coach Dylan assembled these girls together. And uh, like he said before he left to Josh and I to... Don't wreck the Ferrari. So um, that was our main goal of the year. Calwater Mesa takes second. Sarah Sweeney shoots one over on day two to tie for fifth. Calwater Christian was third. Katrina Mendez has an even par 72 to finish as the other co-champion. I did not um, think that I would uh, uh, place this finish in the tournament. Um, it's just a real blessing that I was able to play well today. No RMAC teams qualify for regionals. Kim does go as an individual. In fact, she led after the first round but was later disqualified after a scorecard mistake. Still ahead on the showcase, a nail biter at the conference tennis championships. Coming up next, what makes Carlton LeVong flip out? Find out after the break.